So is John Ramsey and Stephen Sherwood. 35 laps will tell us. Brad Berry has a green in hand. And it's waving. Green flag is out. And here comes Tony Pennell on the outside of the 66 of Jeff Sharkey. He's going to take over the lead into turn number three and four and lead lap number one. John Ramsey and Stephen Sherwood doing battle for the third place. Sherwood on the outside of the track. Looks to have a little bit of momentum into turn number three, but here comes Ramsey right back on the inside. It's still Pennelli Sharkey. Now it's Ramsey. Here's Andre Rogie sticking his nose in the mix. He's battling for fourth with Sherwood. He's going to take that spot. Oh, and Sherwood is off the pace. Now we gathers Harith up on the curb a little bit. Some sparks out of that number one. Your top five cars are single file. Now make it eight cars. Single file. Tony Pantanelli got about a three car length lead over the 66 of Sharkey. John Ramsey had his third spot. Andre Rogge looking for it, riding there in fourth. Harith riding in fifth. Sherwood has dropped back to six after starting on the outside of row number two. Single foul, now 12 cars deep. Tony Pennelli's the man in charge. He's got a half a second lead over Jeff Sharkey. Sharkey and Pennelli starting to pull away a little bit. Over the 25 of John Ramsey, who's riding in third. Ramsey's got all sorts of pressure on him from the back of the 03, or on the back of Andre Rogi. Tony Pennelli, still your fastest car out there so far at a 15.182 for Tony Pennelli. Tony hasn't been victory lane since 2019. He would love to take home a checker flag this evening. Got some bumping and banging back there. Now John Ramsey is out of the groove. John Ramsey is slow out of turn number two after some contact maybe with Harith or Sherwood. Close racing there back in the pack. And now we have Sherwood up to fourth, Harith up to fifth, Papen settles in sixth. John Ramsey's going to have to settle for eighth. Got a car in the back stretch. That is the number eight of Kevin Warren. Warren turned around the wrong way. Looks like he's pretty tight against the wall. Not quite sure what happened with Warren in the eight. Actually, he's rolling under his own power. That's good news for Kevin. And as he swings it around, he looks to be in decent shape to the restart zone. Pettinelli and Sharkey. Green flag is out. Good looking start. Pettinelli is going to lead the charge down the back stretch. Here's Sharkey and Rogi side by side battling for second. Pettinelli all alone at the front. Going to lead the restart on lap number 11. Andre Rogi. Now we've got some tire smoke back there in the pack. And there goes John Ramsey around. Out of the exit of turn number two. He's going to loop it and caution is out. Gaskin at Ford Bronco will duck off harm's way out of turn number three. Patinelli and Rogi will bring him around to the restart cones. Green flag is out and a slow start by Sharkey. He's going to go around. And that'll keep us yellow. I, Jeff Sharkey did not get going coming out of turn four. And he had a bumper full of whoever was behind him. Sharkey's had some problems throughout the year on restarts. Here comes our leaders. They're three and four. Green flag is out in a Clean restart as they head into turn number one. Pat Nelly on the low side. Rogie up on the outside. Now Rogie gets a half a car length ahead of Pat Nelly. Pat Nelly fights back into turn three and four. Up the track they go. A little contact. It's going to be Rogie going to lead the restart. 
Patinelli fights back on the inside, but there goes Rogi again and pulls ahead. Here comes Patinelli right back on the inside. They touch again coming out of turn number four. Patinelli now muscles ahead a little bit on the inside. Two by two, your first four cars. Patinelli now has a little advantage as they come out of turn number four. Watch him try to clear Rogi. Not this time, says Andre Rogi as he fights back on the outside. They're still neck and neck, side by side, into turn number three. Patinelli drifts up a little bit, forces Rogi higher. We're gonna give that lap to Andre Rogi this time. Craig Harris just sitting back there in the catbird seat in position number three, waiting for his chance. As Patinelli and Rogi race side by side. Patinelli stuck on that bottom side. Rogi up in the traction compound. Patinelli has a little more advantage this time as they exit turn number four. He's going to lead by car into turn number one and take over the lead. Single file, your top four. Patinelli, Rogi, Harith, Joe Papin. Cross flags are in the air. Halfway home. Tony Patinelli, 17 laps away from his first win in four years, but here comes Andre Rogi. Going back up, staring to the high side. Now dips it low, out of turn number four. He's gonna fall in behind Patinelli. Single foul, now you're top. Oh, Harith gets loose, out of turn number two. He bobbles, that allows Papin to move into the third position. You don't see that much out of Craig. Got a little bit loose out of turn number four. Slipped up the racetrack, allowed Papin to go by. Here is Patinelli now. Your leader again as we complete lap number 20. Patinelli, again, the fastest car on the speedway at the moment. Turn in the fastest lap times, completing lap number 20 now. 22, excuse me. Single file now throughout the field. Patinelli, Rogi, Papin, Harith, your top four. Jeff Pringle riding in fifth, and Steve Sherwood in sixth. Then there's a gap back to John Ramsey, Caden Rogers, and Scott Dinsler. And Brad Winters is slow on the front stretch. He's going to go into pit road. Nose to tail, your top five cars are all within a second of each other. Patinelli holds him off as he worked into lap 25 with 10 remaining. Tony Patinelli's 40 turns away from his first checkered flag in over four years. Rogi and Papin riding in second and third, trying to make a move. Do they have enough to get around Tony Patinelli? The laps wind down. They better start making their moves in a hurry. And now Joe Papin turns up the wick a little bit. He's knocking on the door in the back of Rogi. Rogi steps up to the high side, loses some track position, regains and fights back to hold on to second momentarily. Joe Papin on the inside. He's been the man to beat the last two weeks. Can he go three for three? He's in the second now. 28 laps in the book, seven to go. Joe Papin is one spot away from his third win in a row. Tony Pennelli is going to hug that inside line and make him use that outside groove to get by him. Papin gives him tap, lets him know he's there. Out of turn number two. Pennelli still holding off Papin. Pennelli stuck on that low side. Drifts up a half a car length now. Five laps to go. Joe Papin riding in second. Rogi back to third. It looks like a two-horse race here as they come to four to go for Tony Patinelli. Harith now takes a look to the outside of Rogi, trying to take over that third position. 
He's only going to have three laps to go. At the front, Papin, excuse me, yeah, Papin and Patinelli. No, Papin to the inside of Patinelli. Patinelli stuck on the outside. Papin up on the curve. Patinelli pinches him down. Come on to turn number four. They're not giving an inch. It's Joe Papin takes the lead with two to go. Patinelli all over the back of Joe Papin. Here comes Harris to the outside. This one's not over, folks. Keep your eyes on the front. White flag in the air. Joe Papin. Tony Patinelli's got four turns left to make something happen. Papin starts to pull away on the final lap, final turns, final time. Joe Papin is going to go three for three. Tony Patinelli will have to settle for a heartbreaking second. Craig Harris will finish in third. Andre Rogge brings it home in fourth. Jeff Pringle rounds out your top five. Here's a hat for you, Joe. Here's a nice bottle of Coke that I dropped on the ground coming over, so I'm just warning you, if you want a champagne spray, you're going to get it. Now, I didn't uh, think you were going to do it this time. What would you think? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Rogie and Craig in front, they're, they're just so hard to pass, and just got fortunate that they made a little bobble there and was able to get underneath them. What do you think is making the difference in your team? I mean, three in a row, that's not easy to do here at Evans Mills. No, I mean, there's a lot of hard work in the shop. Uh, everybody chips in, Dad, Brandon, uh, Tyler, especially running that late model. You'd be surprised. He's working on this car more than his, and I don't know. It's just awesome to see everybody come together. Do you think the driver has anything to do with it? Uh, I don't know about that. Being a rookie, I need some more laps around here, but I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. I think he's starting. We'll let the crowd say if he's got the hang of it or not. Joe Papin, great job here tonight.